I'm ready. Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, my winter TBR. So, for those of you who are new to my channel, I prefer to make seasonal TBRs rather than monthly TBRs, unless of course I'm participating in a readathon, if it's a week long, month long, I'll make TBRs for that. Um, but overall, I am, I am such a mood reader that if I were to constantly make monthly TBRs, um, no matter how much I want to read the book at the beginning of the month, the next day, it could be completely different. And if I force myself to read a book from my TBR, I will most likely go into a slump. So, I like to make seasonal TBRs, and generally I like to make them not too big, so that, again, I'm not, like, pressuring myself, but it's just kind of saying, these are the books I'm interested in reading, hopefully I read them. If not, then we'll see in, our, in my wrap-ups <laughs> what I actually did read. That all being said, my winter TBR is actually pretty big. <laughs> now, for those of you who have been on my channel, you know that I am participating in the Reindeer Readathon, which is happening over the month of December. And so I tried to make sure that my Reindeer Readathon TBR and my winter TBR wouldn't be the exact same, because that's no fun to watch two TBR videos of the same thing. No. So most of these books do not overlap. One book does. Um, and that's because I bought it in the fall time and I was thinking about reading it in fall time and then someone was like, no, you should read this in the winter. It's much more winter vibes. So that book is One by One by Ruth Ware. I bought this because it's a thriller. So it follows these co-workers who all work in an office. They go on some, I don't know if it's like a vacation together or like a work trip, but they're all staying together in some cabin or something. But there is like a snowy avalanche or some natural disaster and then all of a sudden one of the co-workers starts killing the other co-workers one by one and so you got to figure out who it is and how to stop them or how to get out <laughs> before you die so I'm really excited for this like I said I bought it in fall because it was a thriller but then someone was like no you should read it in winter because the winter vibes are much more prominent and it's much more enjoyable in winter so this is the only overlap i am hoping to read this for the reindeer readathon but so i'm it'll be read during winter hopefully this month in december but so that's the only overlap and the next one i want to read is the hawthorne legacy by jennifer lynn barnes i had this on my fall tbr and i didn't really get to it and i would still really like to get to it um and i think for a lot of like cozy mysteries like this one they work in winter just as well as in fall like it's just not something i want to read in like spring or summer but this is the second book in a trilogy and the first book is uh the inheritance games and it follows this girl who is living with her sister who doesn't know much about her parents um she is told that she has just been named as the heir of everything to this millionaire in Texas and she's like what who why wait money what and so she, but the catch is is that she has to live in the mansion for a year with the millionaire's family who he just completely disinherited so uh, I like I love the first one it's full of games and puzzles so I am excited to read this one hopefully during winter Next up is A Pinch of Magic, and this is by Michelle Harrison. This is a middle grade fantasy. I bought this, again, for the reading, the spooky season reading extravaganza, but I kind of bought it as a bonus book of if I have time, I'll get to it. I did not have time, um, but I thought this would just be a cute little story to read in fall. I feel like, or in winter, um, I feel like middle grades, uh, especially like middle grade fantasy could be really good to read in winter uh, just because they are such cute cozy stories so this one follows three sisters who I don't I don't know if their family is cursed or whatnot but they're given three magical objects and they got to solve an issue I know that's not very descriptive but yeah they're haunted their family is haunted by a deadly curse so they're given these objects gloomy island they got to figure it out sounds adorable 
Moving on, the next book that I want to read is the second book in the School for Good and Evil series, and this is A World Without Princes. I was going to reread the first one in fall for a readathon group read, um, and I I didn't do that, but I'm still debating on like reading the last ten chapters of the first one and then going to this one. There is an adaptation happening ne late next year, but this is also a multiple book series, I believe. I don't know if it's there's a trilogy of the original story, but then another overlapping trilogy of another series within the world. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is there are plenty of books to read. There are at least six in the world, and I want to read them all before the adaptation happens. So I have the second one, and I want to read it, plus fairy tales. Um, oh yeah, so the description of the School for Good and Evil is the idea that there are two schools. Uh, one is supposed to produce uh, princes, princesses, heroes, and you know, the heroes of the fairy tales, and the other, the School for Evil, is supposed to produce the villains and sidekicks uh, for these stories, and then the adventures that these kids go on uh, are written down as fairy tales and published in the towns surrounding the schools, and then the school chooses kids from the town, one for good and one for evil. And I loved the first book, I absolutely adored it, so I'm really excited to get to this one. It is, from what I remember, it's kind of got like a middle grade type writing, so it's nice easy writing. So even though it's a bit chunkier, I should be able to get through it pretty quickly. And the last physical book that I own that I want to read is Curse of the Spectre Queen. I actually did start this. I am 80 pages into it, and I just, I want to continue it, so I'm putting it on this TBR even though it's probably gonna happen um, and this is basically Indiana Jones but with Irish mythology and a female lead so that's all I needed to hear to pick this book up so if it's all you need to hear then there you go now I do have a few books that I don't own so either I'll be trying to get these as audiobooks or I hope to purchase them in the winter months um, so the first one is The Bear and the Nightingale. I don't know too much about this one. I'm pretty sure it's based off of Russian folklore though, and I'm really excited for that. And I know that has all the winter vibes, and that's all I'm looking for for my winter TBR, or all the wintry vibe books that I want to read. And then I also want to read Happily Ever Afters. This is by Elise Bryant. I'm hoping to purchase this one in January. Yeah, in January. Um, so... I'm really excited. I've been wanting to read this for a long time. It is about this girl who uh, goes to, she loves to write romances, um, but when she finally goes to an art school to d really develop her craft, she finds that she is uh, stuck. She has writer's block, so she's trying to figure out how to start writing romances again, and what better way to do that than to be in a romantic relationship. So. There we go. That's that's all I got for you on that one. But I really want to read it because it's books about writing. I love reading about like teenage writers. So so yeah, this TBR is a lot bigger than I meant it to be. But I, I forgot about a physical book that I decided last minute I'm going to put on this TBR. I'm really scared. I'm really nervous because I've been wanting to read it for a while. But I didn't put it on any TBR because I wanted to make sure I could take my time with it. Because it's a chonker. But I'm going to put it on this TBR and hope and pray that I actually get to it. And that's The Toll by Neil Schusterman. I know. So it's the third book in the arc in the, in the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. I've read the first two. I love the first two. I wanted to pause before I read the third one because I love the story and I didn't want it to end. And then that pause just kept getting extended and extended and extended. And now I'm here. It's been almost a year later and I still haven't read The Toll. Has it been longer than a year? Could be. I don't remember. But point is, I need, I want to read this, and I want to read it soon because I want to complete the trilogy. <laughs> but I'm scared. So that's that's another one. The only other books that I will mention that I would love to get to this winter season are, if you bear with me moving the camera here, these Disney Twisted Tales. So I have read. One, two, three, four. I have. Yep. I have read these first four here, and I haven't read any of those. I keep wanting to. I'm gonna move you back now. 
I keep wanting to do a reading vlog where I sit down and read as many of them as I can, either in a week or I go through reading all of them and I give my thoughts on all of them that I haven't read yet. Um, but I just haven't quite settled down to do so. Uh, but again, I think that fairy tale retellings and twisted stories are just such cozy reads and so that's why they're perfect for winter. Um, so I hope to be reading some of those. Look out for a reading vlog because no matter what, I'm going to do a reading vlog with them when I do finally pick them up. Uh, I own all of them except for the one that most recently came out, What Once Was Mine, and that's the Rapunzel retelling. So those are all the books on my TBR, and that's that's a huge TBR. It's a much bigger one that I want than I wanted to set for myself. But I couldn't help it. I just kept being like, oh, I'll just add this book. Oh, wait a minute, I'll add this book. Or, oh, I already started this book, so I'll just add it. And it got to be the ginormous stack mess that it is. So wish me luck thank you for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up let me don't let me know down below in the comments if you've read any of these what your thoughts were or if you want to read any of these or what books you have on your winter tbr i'm always looking for more winter vibe books because like i said i don't stick to tbrs because i'm a mood reader so <laughs> otherwise feel free to click that subscribe button normally i post on sundays and wednesdays but because of my recent absence, uh, I <laughs> will be still trying to film and put up every video that I was planning to for December. So I will be hopefully putting up four videos a week. I'm not doing Vlogmas or I'm not doing uh, Bookmas. I thought about doing Bookmas, which is something that Haley and Bookland does, and I thought it was so cool. And then I realized. I'm not doing either of those things, but I am posting four videos a week, which is going to be a lot for me. So <laughs> subscribe so you don't miss anything. I have a lot of fun content planned and I'm really excited. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.